Hello my friends, this is Getaway Jamie and welcome to my new video. Uh, today I wanted to create a different video just for the fun of it because uh, sometimes it's uh, a little bit boring to uh, make a more informative video so I wanted to make somehow a more personal, let's say, and more fun. It's going to be about my favorite uh, albums of all time. A thing you need to know about me is that uh, when I talk about music, uh, I mean uh, everything that it's pop. I only listen to uh, music that has some pop in it, whatever that may be. Maybe pop rock, maybe pop dance, electro pop, pure pop, uh, whatever pop. In this list, I tried to not include the very recent releases, uh, let's say from Lady Gaga or Beyonce because they would be in this list, but I wanted to see how they age. So you're going to see albums that are before 2020. First of all, I would like to remind you to subscribe to the channel and uh, like and watch my other videos. Uh, are not, uh, they have not the same theme as this one, but maybe you'll find them interesting. So go to my channel and check them out. And without further ado, let's go and see my top 10 all-time favorite albums. Number 10 is Matt Maltese's Crystal. It's maybe the only vinyl on this uh, list. Um, it's more, not so much pop. It is, but it's not. It's more indie pop rock. I actually discovered him during the quarantine and uh, he was very, very uh, helpful uh, when I listened to this mu to his music uh, during um, some difficult times. It's somehow a little bit depressing, but I don't really want to call it depressing because for me, when I hear like more sad song and melancholic, um, I think it's more cathartic. It gives you the time to think and reflect. And uh, that's what this album does. The the highlight in it is uh, Tall Buildings. It's actually, I think it's one of my favorite songs ever, but the whole album is uh, unskippable. Number nine is Madonna's American Life. Many would actually wonder why American Life is in this list at all. Uh, I wanted to add more albums of hers like Ray of Light or Bedtime Stories or music, but you know, only the very best should be in this list. Um, actually, this is the second album of hers that I have listened to. And uh, it kind of takes me back to my high school years and uh, the electropop eras that I really liked that the artists had at that time and uh, maybe she was the first one to have them. Hello. We have a little intruder here. Say hi to the camera. Hello. Say hi. Hi. I don't know, it, it, it's always really enjoyable to listen to it. Now, number eight. It's Britney Spears in the zone. This really is, for me, the album that skyrocketed her from the teen idol to a complete superstar. Um, from the, the album cover, the booklet, the track list, um, everything is exceptional. And don't forget that it also includes one of her best songs, uh, Toxic, and it's and her best music video that is toxic. It also has the Madonna collaboration. I mean, it can't get better than that. Number seven. Number seven is Katie Tanstall's Invisible Empire Crescent Moon. I know that many of you may not have heard of it or of her at all, but I assure you that her music is very good uh, with each album, she tried to include different sounds and uh, different styles. Uh, but this one, I think it's her more personal uh, because it was when her father had actually died and she wrote poems 
um, inspired by he, her father's death and she wrote songs uh, based on those poems and uh, it's uh, really chilling it's really um, it's poppy but it's pop rock and a little bit of uh, uh, country and folk and um, I think the cover would say would say it all about about the music style it's one of the albums that i really like to have a beer a glass of wine and uh, listen to it because it's kind of chilling and it really helps you reflect think whatever that means number six now number six is beyonce's beyonce um I really wanted to add Renaissance to this list, but it's really new, so I didn't want to to add it yet. Um, but Beyonce actually is the album that is my favorite from it. It had it was the very first time that she released uh, something uh, that was uh, a surprise release. Uh, it had all the visuals at one time. The whole album is exceptional maybe uh, the song rocket is not so good but it's uh, it's okay i guess even the platinum edition even though it's it doesn't add up much to it i think uh, it's a good addition it has more of a an r &B, uh style that uh, maybe i am sasha fierce uh lacked now going to our top five Another album that it's not actually super pop, but I think it does uh, interpolate pop elements is um, Coldplay's Viva La Vida or Death and All of His Friends. This was also the very first album I listened of them. And uh, it's, it's something that really travels me when I listen to it. It travels me to medieval times, uh, medieval England, the French Revolution. Um, it has great the instrumentation and uh, it's really powerful and at the same time can be very chilling and uh, it's everything. I think it's their best album ever and uh, they should go back to that sound because I feel thing that they have kind of lost their touch the latest years. Number four, we have Florence and the Machine, Ceremonials. I had no idea who she was and I listened uh, a spectrum on the radio and I was like, okay, I like the song and uh, maybe if I listen to other things that she has released maybe i like it so i listened to to ceremonials and the listen was magical i mean the harps the her vocals um everything is really traveling and and it actually uh, came into my life in a very um uh, special time when i had uh, a trip to the netherlands and belgium and uh, I was listening to it the whole time when, uh, when I was there and my mind travels back to that place uh, when I listened to the album over and over again and uh, I really love it and I hope you love it as well. Now going to my top three. Number three is Born This Way by Lady Gaga. I have to admit that when I first listened to Born This Way, I wasn't super thrilled about it. My favorite album of hers, that's not actually an album, is uh, uh, The Fame Monster, but it's an EP, so it didn't qualify for this list. And uh, with the addition of The uh, Fame to make it a deluxe edition, I don't think it will. it is so good compared to, you know, the EP, so I could not include it. Uh, to this list but Born This Way is her best album in my opinion uh, the more you listen to it the more it grows on you and uh, the whole era was amazing it is what made her who she is today the mother monster 
and uh, it actually has remained timeless. As many times as I listen to it, it never gets old and boring and I can put it on repeat over and over again. Now, for number two, I tried not to include uh, albums from the same artist, but it was impossible with these two, or with the other two anyway. It's Confessions of the Dance Floor by Madonna. This was the first album I have listened to of hers. It was really, truly amazing. It's a club disco banger, a non-stop disco extravaganza that I think it's her top work ever. You can play it on repeat again and again and again, and you never get bored of it. But do not put it on Spotify. I mean, I realized that they have actually edited the songs and they made standalone versions of, of each and every song and it's not non-stop and it's an abomination. And I think that whoever did this should be fired and burned in hell. And my number one favorite album of all time is Blackout by Britney Spears. I said I tried to include uh, only one album from each artist, but Britney is my favorite artist, so I could not uh, put in the zone out of the list. But Blackout is the very best album she has ever released and I think it's a pop bible that should everyone follow. Um, as you see I have bought the Japanese edition because it has four more songs than the standard one. I actually have bought it three times. <laughs> once I have bought the, the standard one, once the first re press release Japanese that had a little charm in it and because I threw that hobby away I had to buy it again and I sold the other one with a charm, but anyway. If I had to pick my favorite song from this album, it would be extra difficult because each song has another sound to it and uh, it, it, it travels me back to an era where, you know, we were waiting for Britney to release a new album and uh, uh, she was a mess back then and uh, she actually released this masterpiece. And although, uh, you know, the Give Me More performance and uh, the video clip, some people were disappointed, it's actually iconic. And uh, a fun fact with this album is that when I was in high school, I sometimes uh, played this album and, uh, and uh, the electricity company had some strikes and uh, <laughs> there was actual blackouts when I was listening to the album. So that, uh, that was really funny. That was the video for today. Uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you like my list. I would really like you to write me in the comments below your top 10 pop albums of all time. And um, please subscribe to the channel, like the video and share it with your friends. And you can uh, write whatever comment you like and boost it in the YouTube algorithm. And uh, I'll see you next time.